Hey everybody, welcome to my suburban oasis. I just realized that it's been a while since I took you on a tour of my garden. So we're just gonna do a walkthrough today. Um, and I hope that you enjoy seeing some of the things that are coming up. I've been so busy um, getting things planted and moving things around with the cold and the warm and the cold and the warm um, that I just realized that a tour was definitely um, in the cards today. So let's just take a walk uh, around and take a look at what's going on. If you're enjoying my channel, uh, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And leave a comment below to let me know um, what you think about the tour. If there's certain plants that you like better than others and what you're doing in your yard. Alright, let's get started. So right now I'm just up on the deck and I've got some of my plants out, I've got my succulents, I've got my babies, um, babies, my bunny tail grass which is super soft growing there. We've got some pansies over here that are growing on. I'm trying to save this Funning Games Hopscotch Hookera right here. And then we have all of the wave petunia um, seedlings from my winter sowing that I have growing on in these. And everybody, you're just going to see my mess because that's how it is right now in my garden. Um, so we have some cannas and some tuberous begonias that I will need to move the tuberous begonias out soon. I have a pot over here as well. Try not to make you crazy with the matching uh, cannas and tuberous begonias. And so gorgeous violas here, planted with some uh, little lime hydrangea and some white wines, white wands, Veronica. Over here we have a little update for you on how the clematis are doing that I planted from plugs. They're looking great. Look at this big bud right here. I can't wait to see these blooms. And it's lovely in this pot. The rabbits can't get to them. So yeah, I just love how that's climbing up and turning out. And I think that's just going to continue to get more full uh, and lush as the season progresses. <clears throat> I have a couple of ghosts here. There's one over there. Uh, and then I'll try to turn slowly here. We have one over here. These are blueberry bushes that I am trying to protect uh, from the birds from eating the blueberries as they develop right now. And then uh, underplanted in there as well, if you can see, is some gorgeous kale, which looks like I can harvest some. All right, things are looking quite exciting in the garden now. I've got some uh, key lime marigolds that are planted down here. They get about two feet tall and um, those are going to look pretty. And then I've just started planting my tomatoes. I've got some sweet peppers in here that I grew from seed along with the tomatoes. You can see some of the kale I'm letting go to seed right now just because it's so pretty. And then um, strawberries are blooming. I'm so excited. I'm going to try to protect those strawberries. My nine bark are looking gorgeous. They are getting some beautiful little buds on them. So I expect them to bloom this week. My planters are becoming a little more lush. I did get a little freeze damage on uh, some of the leaves of those plants, but they look great. My raspberry up top here is um, just flushing out wonderfully. I have another clematis here with some kale. Back here, my hydrangea. And then it's hard to see, but way back behind that salvia is a gourd. I'm going to be um, having some angel wing gourds grow up these vines 
or these trellises back here as vines. So we'll see how those do. Look at this, you guys. Irises are starting to come out. The bearded irises. Yay, I just noticed that. Oh yeah, look at all of the buds on this nine bark. Oh, that's gonna be pretty. I have a pot of dahlias over here. Everything's looking good in the garden. Parsley, some more tomatoes over here. We have lettuce and cilantro and kale. Some hot and heavy peppers from Proven Winners. Radishes and kale. Arugula, garlic. There's some more marigolds planted over there. Some candy hybrid onions along here. They're starting to get bigger. I've harvested about three stalks of asparagus. I, they just, I just eat them right out of the garden because there's not enough yet uh, to really harvest for a meal. But boy, are they sweet and delicious. This pink mink clematis is growing really well. Can't wait to see what that looks like when it's in bloom. This wajila is flushing out and this uh, Walker's Low Nepeta is just going to start flowering soon. You can see all of the little buds all over it and that will be a nice lavender. So the uh, notorious heat pump has been installed. That's what it looks like. It's not too bad. I guess it could be worse. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing my pinky winky hydrangea here come in and uh, fill out with some leaves and some blooms to cover that up. This Yuki Cherry Blossom Dutia looks like it's going to bloom soon as well. The flocks are growing really well around the base of the shed here, so I'm looking forward to seeing those. I think they probably have a few more weeks to go before they start to bloom. And I'm just going to pan over here so you can take a look at the half moon garden and uh, show you where I have planted some dahlias at the end here between the privets. And I just got them in the ground and they have um, definitely decided that they're going to enjoy life out here. This is my first time, again, having dahlias in my garden, in the ground. So hopefully they turn out well. This bed over here is still looking just gorgeous. All of the ajuga and the pulmonaria are really putting on a show for us right now. Just look at the colors on that. Wow. I have some salvia that's coming up in here that will be blooming soon as well. These, uh, I think these are Hesperus matronalis. I think that's what they're called. They're um, kind of a, um, a type of sort of flax. Um, people think they are. They grow a lot on the side of the road, on the edge of woodlands this time of year and bloom. So they're getting ready to bloom as well. And yeah, those pulmonarias, they're still just hanging in there. I think because it stayed fairly cool. And then I have this other uh, nine bark over here and the painted ferns are starting to look painted now. Not just browns, you can actually see them coming up. And those are gonna get fairly tall here soon. Well, if we get some rain, we haven't had much rain, you guys. I 
And uh, this garden down here is definitely looking pretty nice and lush. So let's uh, take a walk in the woodland garden. The bleeding hearts. Uh, some of them got freeze damage, but a few of them just got delayed. So I am actually getting a little bit of blooms from those still, which is nice. And the vinca is starting to bloom. See those little purple flowers, purple blue flowers. We have a lot of hoses because of the, the pool water and pump, so sorry about the mess, guys. It's just real life. My variegated Solomon seal over here is blooming. I planted that one last year. I really like how it is. I'm hoping that it's not too aggressive. Let me know if you grow it and whether or not it's uh, aggressive for you and spreads a lot. Um, because if it does, I might want to move it to a different spot. I think I'm going to get some blooms after all on this rhododendron here. I thought they were frozen off completely or dried up over the winter, but I don't think that's the case anymore. So I'm happy about that. I just love these lemony lace elderberries. They are such a pop of color and right next to that gorgeous uh, Japanese maple. It's such a pop of color. So we have uh, some more painted ferns back here, which are also looking much more painted, and so they stand out much better against uh, the ground. A lot of my hostas got some pretty significant damage, so some of them are not looking as happy as I would like. For example, that one over there. Um, but there will be some uh, beautiful leaves that come out after these first ones flush out still. I do believe I'm going to get rid of this um, hydrangea microphylla this year. I just don't have the patience for it anymore. It just doesn't bloom well in my garden, no matter where I put it. My lamium's blooming. Uh, all of the geranium macrophyllum are putting on buds everywhere, so those are going to be blooming soon as well. And uh, the way back garden actually looks like I have some plants back there this year. I'll give you a quick peek over the edge of the hill. The chives and the ajuga. And everything is just coming out so nicely. It's very refreshing compared to just seeing weeds and uh, junk bushes. Have some creeping phlox down there, some violas that I planted from seed, along with the hostas, and my beautiful weeping Norway spruce is putting on new growth. Just look at the color on that. Oh, it looks like bright green little pom-poms. All of the chives everywhere in the yard are getting ready to burst open as well. And then I have some uh, of these, I think these are blue moon flax uh, on the ground. I just love these. They're so different from any of the other ones that just bloom uh, really low to the ground. My red bud over here definitely got some freeze damage, but it's getting some new growth. So I'll have to trim off here shortly what has not grown on. But yeah, so I think that is just looking so pretty right now. So springy. Let's take a look at the long border here. I have some soap wort that I planted at the end here. Coming up with some hostas, 
and Liatris along here. And again, you can see these chives are just ready to burst. Some of them are just starting to break open. I really like using chives. Uh, I'm experimenting with it a little bit throughout the garden um, because they bloom at a time when not a lot of other plants are in bloom. And so I think that it brings a nice little bit of color that otherwise is missing from the garden this time of year. And again, you can see some of my messes down there, but I'm just real. It's just the way it is. The birch leaf spireas are also a really pretty color. These are You Glow Girl from Proven Winners. And then there's a climbing rose back behind that. And the hookahs are doing well, starting to color up. My clematis here are looking good. These two at the base are the ones that I planted from plugs. I have some violet riot color spires salvia right here that you can see buds uh, growing on as well. A cute little spirea and then despite all of the freeze my viburnum uh, opening day is actually giving me a couple of blooms to enjoy most of them froze off but I think I've got about six of them on there that I can see which I'm I'm very happy that I at least have a few because I wanted to get to know that plant a little bit better and what it was going to look like um, in my yard this year. Another spirea, which has a new growth that is kind of a fiery red, fuchsia red almost. And some more violet spires, salvia. Look over here at the fountain gardens. Uh, we just looked at those recently, so um, I just moved this uh, little devil nine bark to the back of this border. It was towards the front before, and I thought that was going to maybe overcrowd the path. And I like the idea of it coming through these two arborvitas. Uh, and this is going to be just covered in blossoms as well soon, so I'm excited for that. It looks like I broke a little branch when I was moving it. And then the color contrast between these golden mop cypress and those classic coral dianthus that I just planted is really pretty. And this clematis is growing back. I wasn't sure if it would because I had to really revamp this bed last year um, due to invasive ground elder bishop's weed. Then again, you guys, I'm not sure what these bulbs are. If you know what they are, tell me. I think they're some type of an allium. So I'm waiting for them to open so I will know. Mr. Goodbud sedum down here. I just like the sedums of the different colors. My poor Japanese maple that got frozen. It's like he's trying to come back. He's got some nice new leaves coming out here and uh, if you see some of these cut plants these are flocks um, I like to cut them in half uh, this time of year just so that uh, they grow a little bit more bushy and that is my dumpster dive Yuki cherry blossom you guys I decided to plant it directly into the landscape yesterday and uh, I think he's gonna grow back happy. My pink diamonds bleeding hearts here. And then over here this clematis. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. This clematis is covered in buds. Look at all those buds. Can't wait to see those. It's gonna be beautiful. 
All right, to the front. I have a few azaleas over here. And just look at these royal ferns, you guys. Aren't they pretty, this stage of growth? Look at the buds. These are called fiddleheads. And they're all curled up before they unfurl. Just gorgeous. And my Bobo Hydrangea Standard is looking good as well here. So you can see this is what the flax look like this time of year. If I don't cut them back, I need to cut these uh, back as well. Okay, so here's our front long bed. Got my tiny wine nine bark back here. Um, uh, pretty chives that have these gorgeous little purple balls that are just beginning to flower. And the salvia, you can see these are getting ready to flower. This is called a high voltage rose. It's going to bloom like a creamy yellow. Lots of cone flower in this bed. And then back here you'll see this is Um, why am I blanking on it right now? Indigo, false indigo, Baptisia. So that will, that will be blooming soon. The May night, night salvia is going to be blooming soon. I have a sand cherry back there that just finished blooming. And this is kind of a symmetrical bed. So you see another high voltage rose over here, along with another tiny wine nine bark and the baptisia in the background and lots of purple cone flower in this bed uh, along with the salvia i have some peonies that are actually dwarfing out the ilex that i have in here i have a sky pencil ilex down in the middle so once the peonies are done blooming that will make room again for that but look at those buds this year. Wow. And this bud's coming together. All those dianthus are now starting to bloom. Getting some nice buds on the blue muffin viburnum and the leaves are coming out. And the black lace elderberry here is having uh, some blooms develop as well. You can see the buds here. Those will be a light pink, which is a really nice contrast to the foliage. And there's a big clematis that grows on our mailbox out there along with some purple cone flowers. And here's the sun bed in the front. The boxwoods are flushing out their new growth. The two barberry are doing really well. The orange rocket barberry. The salvia are just about to bloom as well here in front of the rock. And I think I'm going to get some blooms on uh, these Yuki Cherry Blossom Dutzias that are both right in front of the barberries as well. And the purple sensation alliums are starting to come out. See a couple in the middle right here. They're in a half moon under this uh, weeping cherry tree, which is so gorgeous. And then I just love these alliums. I had to order these. Look at these. They're going to be a beautiful uh, light pink bloom. But look at the foliage. The blue stripey foliage is gorgeous. I hope that those naturalize a bit. And then we have an oak leaf hydrangea right here that's also starting to leaf out. All right, let's go take a look over at the shade bed. So 
So in the entryway right now, I still have lots of pansies. And I have a painted fern in here with some pansies, which I think is so cute and pretty. And some more pansies up here planted in between the rocks. We have an autumn frost hasta that's starting to peek out from under this boxwood here. And my maidenhair fern is coming up. Look at that. I love maidenhair ferns. They remind me of being in the forest up north. You can see some bleeding hearts are looking lovely. Everything in this bed is just filling out. All of the pastas are coming up. Yep, so you can see some more bleeding hearts are happening here and another maiden hair fern right here. That's so pretty. I think that's a sub and substance hasta back there. Um, I planted that last year. Uh, I love when I get the big leaves out here in front trying to fill in some space. I definitely have to spray all of this because it's in my front yard and the deer love to come and visit me here and eat the hosta like lettuce. You could see some blooms coming on this um, pink sparkler spirea. You're tiny, tiny right now, but it's going to have some pretty, pretty blooms. And I just love the leaves on that one. And then something else that is starting to leaf out now is this Father Gila. And it will get even more bluish tint looking uh, as those grow on. You can see some of the striping on this strip tease hosta right here. I like how they just kind of have that little teensy bit of white in them. These are some low grow sumac here. They're fragrant. They have some cute little blooms on them right now. And in the back here, this is Agapanthus molus. It's a bear's breeches. I'm hoping maybe this fall to divide that one and put another one on the other side of this orange rocket barberry. I think that would look really nice. They have spikes of purple, gray. We've got some more irises that are coming in here and some peonies that I just transplanted this spring. I'm not sure if they will bloom or not. They look like they have some tiny buds on them. We'll see. And then the last bed over here, which I also showed you uh, just the other day, but is definitely filled out and looking very lush with all of the different variegated hostas. And the new boxwood that I planted with the elderberry that is about to bloom as well. Now this is also a black lace elderberry, so I think it's a nice contrast if you're planning to plant one because this has more shade uh, the other one is in complete full sun you can see how the leaves are much lacier and darker uh, so if you have one that's more in partial sun this is what it will look like it will look a little bit bushier the leaves will be a little bit uh, fatter and the, it'll be a little bit more green than black and then i do have some magnus coneflower and some Hakonicloa grass on both sides for a pop of color as well. Well, that concludes our tour for today. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!